Okay, we're on now on How to Wiz IQ 103. And the first time you come in, you may be asked to sign up. Depending on the type of class, you may be requested to sign in before you get access to the class. So um, we simply put in a legitimate email. These guys are very honest, but anyway, we put in a legitimate email. I guess we have to sign in as far as join with IQ first, right? So we give a name. Uh, you can put anything in, but make it reasonable um, so that people can call you by a name that makes sense. Um, Edupunk George, I think I like. And my email. That's about the only thing it needs is um, if I can do two things at once. What password I want to use? Entering code. See, there's a lot of hackers and problem people, so this this helps to cut down on some of that junk. And then we just simply click join now. And this first time, we are only going to sign in as a student. It asks us the least amount of information. Very soon, I will like you to sign in as a teacher, and that'll be free. But Tell it they want to know a few things. So, um, which things are required? I'm looking for an online tutor. Okay. Oh, well, there's a skip step. We don't care about that. I want to skip this step. I want to skip all these steps. And I simply want to. Oh, I don't suggest you bring in contacts. Skip this step. I want to use to start with learning. Submit up. Oh. Alright, let's just say English. We want to put the least amount of information as possible in. Alright, so I think we're done. All right. This is that's all it took to get signed in. This is your home page. Let's click on home. Ah. They do have a lot of junk in there to start with, don't they? So anyway, let's go to a regular page and look at some more information now. This home tab we'll look at in just a moment, but across the top you have an account now and so you can go to your own account you can go to your profile you have an inbox for messages and we will look at those a little bit closer you don't have to know all this but let me make this a little bit bigger to help you find the information so we can click on edupunk and we can see who we are and it says not much. I'm interested in English when I joined and when's the last time I've been here. Alright. Uh, the next thing is our profile. We can put a little bit more information into the profile if we wish. There's not much in there now. I'm not going to bother with that. I want to see what kind of messages I've received. I can look at that and it looks like we've received a message. This is the more active part of what you'll be doing is um, getting messages inside of WizIQ. Okay, and we're almost out of time, so let's go ahead and take a look at Welcome to WizIQ, and just a brief description of the things you can do at WizIQ. So that's it for this one. We have now um, joined WizIQ, and the next one we're going to figure out how to clean up some of those screens and get rid of all that extra junk that they're giving us. All right.